What if protagonists of 3D Universe had to hunt down GTA 5 protagonists trio and vice versa? Who do you think will come on top? Yeah, that's the question we are going to discuss today. So let's start. Let's kick things off by looking at the advantages our old school crew brings to the table. First up, these guys are straight up ruthless. They came from an era where the streets were meaner and the stakes were higher. Claude, Tommy, and CJ didn't have the luxury of switching characters or fancy special abilities. They had to rely on pure grit, street smarts, and a whole lot of firepower to get the job done. Take Claude, for instance. This guy's so cold he makes ice cubes look warm. He doesn't say a word, but his actions speak volumes. He's the kind of dude who'd take down a criminal empire without breaking a sweat or cracking a smile. Then there's Tommy Versetti, the Harwood Butcher. This guy built a crime empire from the ground up in Vice City, and he's not afraid to get his hands dirty. Lastly, we've got CJ, who went from a small-time gangbanger to a statewide criminal mastermind. He's got the street cred and the skills to back it up. These three D-era protagonists have seen it all and done it all. They've taken down rival gangs, corrupt cops, and even government agencies. They're survivors who've clawed their way to the top of the criminal underworld without any of the modern conveniences their GTA 5 counterparts enjoy. No smartphones, no internet, no GPS, just pure instinct and a whole lot of determination. Also, they are better at one-on-one -on -one combat. When it comes to throwing hands, our classic crew from the 3D era really knows how to bring the pain. These guys didn't always have access to high-tech weaponry or fancy cars. Sometimes, they had to rely on good old-fashioned fisticuffs to get the job done. And, boy, did they excel at it. Take CJ, for instance. This guy could turn himself into a living weapon. Remember how we could hit the gym in San Andreas and buff CJ up until he was built like a tank? That wasn't just for show. A maxed out CJ could take down enemies with just a few well-placed punches. His boxing skills were no joke, and he could even learn different fighting styles from the various dojos scattered around San Andreas. Tommy Vercetti might not have had CJ's muscle building options, but what he lacked in raw power, he made up for in brutality. This is a guy who'd been hardened by years in prison. He fights dirty, and he fights to win. Tommy's no stranger to using whatever he can get his hands on as a weapon, whether it's his fists, a golf club, or a chainsaw. And let's not forget Claude. He might be a man of few words, okay, no words, but his fists do plenty of talking. Claude's combat style is efficient and ruthless, much like the man himself. He doesn't waste time with flashy moves, he just gets the job done, quickly and brutally. In contrast, the GTA 5 trio, while certainly capable in a fight, don't quite match up to the raw, street-fighting prowess of their predecessors. Sure, Franklin's got some moves, and Trevor's got that manic energy, but they rely more on their guns and special abilities than their fists. The 3D era boys grew up in a time when every mission, every confrontation, could turn into a brutal fistfight at a moment's notice. They had to be ready to throw down any time, anywhere. This constant state of readiness honed their hand-to-hand -hand skills to a razor's edge. So if the GTA 5 crew found themselves disarmed and face-to-face -face with Claude, Tommy, and CJ, they might be in for a world of hurt. In a straight-up brawl, my money's on the old-school brawlers every time. They've got the skills, the experience, and the sheer toughness to outlast and outfight their modern counterparts. Shifting our focus to the GTA 5 trio, let's explore their first major advantage, their incredibly diverse skill set. Michael, Franklin, and Trevor bring a whole new level of versatility to the table that sets them apart from their 3D era predecessors. Each member of the GTA 5 crew has their own unique abilities and expertise, making them a formidable team when working together. This diversity allows them to approach problems from multiple angles and adapt to a wide range of situations. Michael. As a former professional criminal turned reluctant family man, Michael brings years of experience in planning and executing complex heists. He's got a sharp mind for strategy and a steady hand when it comes to precision shooting. 
His special ability to slow down time during gunfights gives him an edge that none of the 3D-era protagonists can match. Then we've got Franklin Clinton. This young hustler from the streets has an uncanny ability behind the wheel. His driving skills are off the charts, and his special ability to slow down time while driving makes him practically untouchable on the road. Whether it's a high-speed chase or a precise getaway, Franklin's got it covered. Last, but certainly not least, we have Trevor Phillips. This wild card brings a level of unpredictability and raw power to the team that's hard to beat. Trevor's military background gives him expertise with heavy weapons and aircraft. His special ability to fly into a rage, dealing extra damage while taking less, makes him a one-man army in combat situations. Together, these three cover all the bases. Need to plan a complex operation? Michael's your man. Need a skilled driver for a getaway? Franklin's got you. Need raw firepower and a touch of chaos? Trevor's ready to unleash hell. This diverse skill set allows the GTA 5 trio to tackle any challenge thrown their way. They can adapt on the fly, switching roles as needed to overcome obstacles. It's this versatility that makes them a force to be reckoned with, even against the hardened criminals of the 3D era. While Claude, Tommy, and CJ are undoubtedly tough and skilled in their own rights, they each had to be a jack of all trades. The GTA 5 crew, on the other hand, can specialize and complement each other's strengths. This teamwork and diversity of skills could give them a significant edge in any confrontation with their predecessors. Moving on to another key advantage of the GTA 5 trio. Let's explore their intellectual prowess. Unlike their predecessors, Michael, Franklin, and Trevor aren't just muscle. They're all brain guys in their own unique ways. Michael isn't just a retired criminal, he's a mastermind when it comes to planning heists. Michael's got the strategic thinking of a chess grandmaster, always several moves ahead of his opponents. He can analyze complex situations, identify weak points, and devise intricate plans that would make Ocean's Eleven look like amateur hour. His ability to think critically under pressure is a game-changer in high-stakes situations. Then there's Franklin. While he might seem like just a skilled driver at first glance, Franklin's got a sharp mind that's always learning and adapting. He's street smart, sure, but he's also got the ambition and intellect to elevate himself beyond his humble beginnings. Franklin's ability to network, learn new skills quickly, and make savvy business decisions shows he's got more going on upstairs than people might expect. Now, you might be thinking, but what about Trevor? Isn't he just a wild man? Well, hold on to your hats, because Trevor Phillips is far from being just muscle. Behind that unpredictable exterior lies the mind of a tactical genius. Don't forget, Trevor's got a military background and was a capable pilot. He understands logistics, can plan complex operations, and has a twisted kind of creativity that often yields unexpected solutions to problems. All three of these guys know how to use their heads in different ways. They can analyze situations, adapt to new information, and come up with creative solutions on the fly. Whether it's figuring out how to pull off an impossible heist, navigating the complex world of organized crime, or just finding clever ways to stay one step ahead of the law, the GTA 5 trio has the mental acuity to handle it all. This intellectual firepower gives them a significant edge over the 3D era protagonists. While Claude, Tommy, and CJ were certainly no slouches in the brains department. They often relied more on brute force and street smarts. The GTA 5 crew, on the other hand, brings a level of strategic thinking and problem-solving skills that could tip the scales in their favor. Also, their top-notch coordination. These guys work together like a well-oiled machine, and it's pretty impressive when you think about it. Remember those heist missions? That's where their coordination really shines. You've got Michael calling the shots, Franklin handling the wheels, and Trevor bringing the chaos. It's like watching a messed up ballet, but with more explosions and car chases. These guys can switch roles on the fly, cover each other's backs, and improvise when things go sideways. Which, let's face it, they often do in Los Santos. It's like they've got some kind of psychic link or something. One minute Franklin's driving, the next, he's providing cover fire while Trevor swoops in with a helicopter. Meanwhile, 
Michael's probably talking his way out of trouble with the cops. Now don't get me wrong, Claude, Tommy, and CJ were badasses in their own right. But they were solo acts, you know? They had to do everything themselves. Our GTA 5 boys, though? They've mastered the art of teamwork. It's not just about the big scores, either. Even in everyday chaos, these three have got each other's backs. They're always just a phone call away, ready to provide backup or bail each other out of whatever mess they've landed in this time. So yeah, when it comes to working as a unit, the GTA 5 trio has got it down pat. It's like watching a perfectly choreographed dance of destruction and mayhem. And in a showdown with the 3D era legends, that coordination could be the secret weapon that gives them the edge. Now let's look into this scenario where our protagonists can use all their resources. If that's the case, then yeah, the HD Universe trio might find themselves in some seriously hot water. Tommy Vercetti and Carl Johnson, two of the most successful criminal masterminds in their respective cities, pooling their resources together. We're talking about an unholy alliance of wealth, influence, and firepower that would make most small countries nervous. Let's start with Tommy. By the end of Vice City, this guy owns half the town. He's got his fingers in every pie. Drugs, protection rackets, porn, taxi companies, you name it. Tommy's got an army of goons at his disposal, a fleet of vehicles, and enough firepower to start a small war. And let's not forget his connections, from crooked cops to corrupt politicians. Tommy's got people in his pocket all over Vice City. Then, you've got CJ. This dude went from rags to riches, building a statewide criminal empire. He's got territories all over San Andreas, a successful music studio, and even a stake in a casino in Las Venturas. CJ's got gangs loyal to him across multiple cities, military-grade weapons he swiped from secret government facilities, and let's not forget his piloting skills. The man can fly anything from a crop duster to a military jet. Now, throw Claude into the mix. While he might not have the same level of empire as the other two, he's got connections in Liberty City and a reputation that makes hardened criminals shake in their boots. If these three decided to pool their resources, we're looking at a criminal superpower. They'd have eyes and ears in three major cities, a practically limitless bankroll, armies of loyal soldiers, and enough guns to outfit a small country. The GTA 5 trio, as skilled as they are, would be facing an uphill battle. Michael's strategic mind would be working overtime, trying to find a way to counter the sheer magnitude of what they're up against. Franklin's driving skills are impressive, but they might not count for much when faced with waves of armed goons. Even Trevor's unpredictability and combat skills would be put to the test against the well-oiled criminal machine of the 3D era protagonists. In this scenario, it's not just about individual skills anymore. It's about the empires these characters have built. Tommy and CJ, in particular, have spent years consolidating power, building connections, and amassing resources. They're not just criminals. They're kingpins, with the kind of reach and influence that could make life very, very difficult for Michael, Franklin, and Trevor. So yeah, if we're talking about a no-holds-barred, all-resources-available kind of showdown, the 3D Universe crew would have a massive advantage. The GTA 5 trio are good, no doubt about it, but going up against the combined might of two criminal empires and a silent killer from Liberty City? That's a tall order, even for them. All right, let's flip the count and look at scenario two, where it's just our protagonists going toe-to-toe -to -toe without their empires backing them up. In this case, the GTA 5 trio, Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, would likely come out on top. First off, let's consider the individual abilities of our HD Universe crew. These guys aren't just thugs. They're specialists with unique skills that complement each other perfectly. Michael's got his bullet time ability, allowing him to slow down time and make impossible shots. Franklin can do the same thing behind the wheel, making him practically untouchable in any vehicle. And Trevor? Well, his rage mode turns him into an almost indestructible force of nature. In a straight-up fight, these special abilities give the GTA 5 trio a massive edge. Imagine trying to hit Michael when he can dodge bullets like he's in the Matrix, or catching Franklin in a car chase when he can weave through traffic, like it's standing still. And going hand-to-hand -hand with Trevor when he's in rage mode? That's just asking for a world of hurt. Moreover, 
the GTA 5 crew has experience working as a team. They've pulled off complex heists together, covering each other's weaknesses and amplifying their strengths. Their coordination is on another level compared to the 3D-era protagonists, who were primarily lone wolves. Let's not forget the technological advantage, either. The GTA 5 Trio has access to modern weapons, communication devices, and vehicles. They can coordinate their attacks with precision, use smart tactics, and adapt on the fly. Claude, Tommy, and CJ, as tough as they are, are from an era where a flip phone was high-tech. The 3D Universe protagonists are formidable, no doubt. Claude's silent efficiency, Tommy's ruthlessness, and CJ's street smarts have gotten them through countless tight spots. But in a direct confrontation without their empires to back them up, they'd be outgunned and outmaneuvered. The 3D-era crew might get some good hits in. They're no pushovers, after all. But ultimately, the combination of special abilities, teamwork, and modern tactics would give Michael, Franklin, and Trevor the upper hand. It's like pitting seasoned street fighters against a modern special ops team. The old school crew is tough and experienced, but the new school has evolved the game to a whole new level. So in this no resources, direct confrontation scenario, it's likely that the GTA 5 trio would come out on top. They'd have to work for it. And it wouldn't be an easy fight by any means, but their unique skills and teamwork would probably carry the day in the end. And that's just my analysis and opinion. If you think something else, then go ahead and comment down and show me your creativity. Subscribe to the channel for next banger video. Till then take care and have a nice day.